Hey, we're back. We're here again. Zizi the doll, my other sister. We're at Ikea. Okay, we're here now. I'm going in. Okay. Okay, a before. E the front standard front door is 37. Let's say 38 inches. So how much is it? What is this? This is what we're looking at. These type of lines, like shades for the front door window. Oh. What is this? White and silver. I bought a lamp. Let me show you guys. I bought this lamp for my living room, but I forgot to buy the light bulb for it and it's a specific light bulb i tried getting putting in like a regular light bulb and it wasn't working so i need to find this ledar guys help me find this okay well i guess it's just this one because i don't see the pack okay they're thinking of getting this oh. this these. I like these because they're simple and sleek. I was saying if I had these in Jamaica or if I shipped it down, I would have got these because they're just sleek. And you can't go wrong with like $179. Okay, so this is it. I'm gonna help you. Are you just gonna put it at the top? Is this heavy? Is that somebody's or not? How do these people buy Where do you even get those? Stuff? Oh, right there. Okay. Look how heavy this is. Yeah. Okay. And Elijah, better than Okay, so we got everything now. Plus all this in the cart. Okay, so we're gonna buy, well, I bought some hot dogs. They're only a dollar, so why not? Okay, she got way more than I did. So, she got meatball subs and then cinnamon buns and then stuff. Guys, next day, I changed my clothes. I'm at Orphis Road. I'm only here to go to Ardeen's to get some of the slippers for Jamaica because they're having like three for $10. Are you mad? I could never buy slippers like that in Jamaica for that price. So I'm going to pick up as much as I can. Filling up my suitcase and we're going to go. I wonder if the skin smoothing is too much on here because girl, I don't need to smooth out this skin like that. Please <laughs> put these inside the cart. And why does this cart have bare stuff in it? They all have bare stuff. No. Okay, I'm buying slippers, of course. Yeah, Three for ten. Yeah, they buy like bigger here. Okay, so many bags we do. Hello, hello, do you work here? Okay, I'm shopping. I have so much stuff here and they don't they don't provide any baskets. So I have to be walking around with so many things. Ugh. As I'm getting all these, guess what? I'm a size three now. I used to be a size one, a size zero, zero, a size zero my whole life. Now I'm a size three. I'm getting all these. I have to check to make sure none of these are all the same. I love boyfriend jeans and I love mom jeans, and these are only $15. So, like, I'm thinking how they're gonna fit in my suitcase. Okay, checking. Um, you should buy those. Okay, we're buying hot dogs. That's all they said that you can't get the money. I don't know why though. Why does my camera look so like um blurry? I mean dark. Yeah, so I'm here at the library. So here it is, guys. It's much better working outside of the home. It just feels yeah. Guys, heartbreaker, don't play. Okay, we're gonna ignore how my hair and 
makeup looks I'm taking out my hair today. Today it's all stale and stuff. It's, it's synthetic hair. I went shopping. I went to Best Buy. I bought a new Sony ZV-1 camera because it's the hype, because I love the quality on it. But let me tell you guys, the Sony ZV-1 camera, it feels more cheaper than the Canon G7X, but I would not recommend the Canon G7X. I went through that camera endless amount. I spent endless amount on that vlogging camera, so I moved over and I'm going to try this out. I like the quality, but the camera just feels cheap. It just feels so cheap. It doesn't feel heavy and nice, but I guess that's the whole point of it. And the plastic on it feels cheap, but that's not the point. Anything I show in this haul, I'm going to link down below in the description box. I have a lot I'm going to go through. Stay subscribed to my channel and watch my vlogs or any of my videos if you guys want in-depth information on any of these things. Because all these things I buy in these like packages here, I have so much packages. You guys don't even know, like, even on the ground going over here. Yeah, so that's the first thing I got was a new vlog camera. I'm excited. Tell me what you guys think so far. So let's go into this huge amazon haul like it's humongous got a real technique set i love their brushes i actually bought their brushes in the past and like all the way in uni and I, it still works it didn't drop out it didn't break it didn't do nada okay let's go into this box because this box is huge full of stuff i'm just going to tell you guys like do an overview quick so i got a led light mirror and this is supposed to actually when i travel in jamaica i'm going to bring that instead of my big huge ones I brought a cell phone stand, and when I do a tech haul, I'm going to go in depth more about the cell phone stand. Well, it's not a cell phone stand. It's for my iPad. I got a stainless steel cleaner from my fridge and my stove in Jamaica. I got a car mount for my phone. I'm going to start doing some car vlogs in Jamaica. And then this is a soap dish holder. This is for my bathroom makeover, so you guys have to stay tuned for that. I got a mini foldable vacuum and this is actually for my windows because you guys will see in a vlog cleaning out the windows is so much work especially with the dust so i want to like vacuum out i got more led strip lights this is for my kitchen because the ones i may buy i don't really like recommend this brand because like i think i only had this i didn't even have these lights for a year and i barely barely use them because i'm not really at my apartment and they were like already hunking out i was like what i only bought it back again because everything's set up and i can just replace this wiring so i got some towel rings in my bathroom again and then some extra phone cords on amazon it's a like one two three five it was like it was a very affordable guys i'm not gonna talk about my appearance i don't look presentable but it's okay and then i got a vacuum cleaner there's one there's a vacuum a car a car vacuum cleaner there's one at my mom's house but as you guys know i don't live there anymore so i wanted one just to have but whenever i go to her house i use the next one that i just plug in and this one is actually supposed to be low noise. It's supposed to be for wet and dry use, strong suction. And honestly, like in a vlog, we're going to test out all these. Guys, I'm sh I'm putting all this in a bag, in, in suitcases and bringing them down. I don't think I'm shipping every anything this time. I think I'm bringing everything down. Suitcases, whether it's like four suitcases. I guess I'm paying for four suitcases. So I know you guys don't like when I do fast like unboxings, but I have to. Like I have so much things to do this vlog. Okay, so the next thing that I got... Don't play. Next thing I got was... Okay, I didn't know there was so much in this set. Bro, I bought paper towels to bring with me. It looks like I'm probably going to have to ship this down in a barrel. Because who's going on a plane with... How much? Eight paper towels? Three, six, nine, twelve paper towels. Are you mad? That might go in a barrel. I think my sister's shipping down a barrel. So I'm going to be like, can you like... This is in a barrel. Thank you. Yo, Amazon sent me some big, huge, dirty box. I'm going to show you guys. And in the big, humongous box, like, there's just a few things in it. I was like, why would they do that? Like, come on. So I got a, a medicated after shave cream. So it's supposed to help get rid of bikini bumps. You can find more about that. We got Nair for the girlies. Stuff for the bathroom again. This is suction bath organizer. But you guys are going to see what I'm going to use it for. The bathroom doesn't really have storage like that. I got a pen for my iPad box. There's so much stuff in this one. I'll go even with that. So we got a, a screen protector for my iPad, but this is like a paper-like screen protector. So you'll find out more about that in the tech unboxing. And then I got a iPad case for travel, which will be more in the tech unboxing. I got some reusable not reusable, some travel bag and I, bags, and I need this for when I'm traveling for makeup, skincare, yeah. So it was a set of, how much? 
set of nine, but I didn't know they were this big. On Amazon, I thought they were way smaller. So I got some more Real Technique brushes. I like their stuff. Even though their stuff is like super high price, guys. Like, I got some more chargers to bring to Jamaica. I'm tired of buying the chargers in Jamaica, and they pop up on me. I, guess I buy like the cheap ones, to be honest, at, like the Chinese, the Asian ones stores. I got a makeup brush drying kit so basically after when i'm done wash them i can like hang them up on this it's on like a spinner and it dries so and then i got some more charging heads because i needed a few like listen the reason how i know how to buy everything is when i was in jamaica i was making lists of things i need to buy when i come up here so when i came up here i just bought everything so that's how i knew i had so i have some makeup brush cleaners i'm gonna see if they're good they're like super thin like on amazon they looked more thicker and high raised but they look thin and flimsy so i'm like okay i gotta waste the time buying but we're gonna figure that out soon then i got a makeup jewelry box oh i'm gonna show you guys this in a vlog and it's it's very small it's cute it's compact it's free travel i bought it for so i can like have my jewelry organized because i usually keep them in small little bags and bring them everywhere with me soap holders these are suction soap holders i am going to you guys are going to see more about this in my and what anisha in my bathroom makeovers and then so i got a makeup organizer for my makeup brushes hopefully the depth of them is deep enough for the makeup brushes what is this i need a name we need a name tell me how doordash just sent me a verification code like this is your number don't share your verification code don't share with anyone bro who's trying to who's trying to hack my so to get free doordash this is for bathroom as well these are shelves you guys will see it and then this is for skincare like my pores let me show you guys mm, you guys probably can't see it on camera it's disgusting so i bought this to like open up my pores and then it's supposed to come with like some stuff in it too like the things for your nose and we'll do an unboxing in the vlog the rest of these things are all bathroom stuff you guys are gonna see how i pack all this in suitcases i'm not don't play with me i'm gonna dress like a bum in the airport so they don't try to charge me enough money uh, Okay, so I got an air fryer, but I don't think I can bring this. Well, I know I can't bring this on the plane, so I'm going to ship down some stuff. I just want to see how it looks like. I got a white air fryer. This came in black too, but I was like, oh my gosh. Like, the white one looks so nice. So I actually want to see how it looks. I got a three quarts because it's only me alone. Air fryer cookbook. Oh, it's cute. Yeah, it looks sleek and nice. So this is death getting shipped down. I don't want to bring this in this We're getting there. So, I don't. Laptop case. Okay. And then I got an iPad. I'm so excited to unbox this with you guys. And then I got a, another camera mount for my car. This camera mount is for my vlog camera. I have one for my phone, one for my vlog camera. Oh, it all makes sense. Trust me when I tell you guys. This is a power adapter for my, my bigger DSLR. So it never, I bought this so my battery never runs out of charge while I'm filming. So I just plug it in. It's like a fake mock battery and my camera will be charged to the tops, okay? Like never run out. I got so much. You guys know I love these. So much makeup removing wipes. Don't play. Like these are my fave. So I got a lot of those, of course, linked down below. Battery charging box. Wait, what? Oh, for my GoPro. <gasps> I bought a GoPro. And they sent me a returned old used GoPro and I had to send it back. I was so mad. Like the boxes broke up. I'll put it on the screen. The boxes broke up the stuff that were broke up. The person who had the GoPro before glued it up together and sent it back. And they're trying to resell it to me. Like I wouldn't if you're from Canada, don't buy from Amazon or Canada when it comes to the GoPros. Then is my battery dying? And then I got their waterproof case for my GoPro, so I have to Get a new GoPro. I literally bought all the stuff for it, and then the GoPro messed up everything. And then I got the SD card for my GoPro. Can't use that. And then I have a laptop stand, a monitor stand for when I'm filming for my filming room. It will make sense once I do the filming makeover video. My battery died. That's another thing I want to tell you guys. This some someone I've always heard from other YouTubers that the vlog battery dies a lot, and it's true. Well, this vlog camera battery dies a lot. It's true. I bought three extra batteries plus the one that comes once you buy the camera. I barely know how to read the screen on this camera, to be honest. But I'm still trying to get used to this camera. This battery does die. I barely used the vlog camera, guys. Like, barely. And this battery died. I was like... The most I've used this vlog camera since I bought it was 
just doing that unboxing right there and it died so quick and i'm like okay lame so i can say that about the g7x the g7x batteries them can last you for days okay and this one hmm. and i'm still trying to learn how to use this camera so you guys take time with me i'm still trying to learn how to use this vlog camera to see the effects and how it looks anyway back to the last two unboxings so we have this one here and girl we have this one here. So I think I'm gonna open up the iMac. Should I open up the iMac right now? I have to see if it's like works because like sometimes supposedly when you get stuff off Amazon, even if it's from this, like, the actual seller, supposedly like you can still send me broke up stuff. And I'm like, hello. And with the iPad. Not the iPad, the Mac, iMac, I got the silver color, you guys are probably like, you're so boring, I got the new one, the 24 inches, the 24 inch iMacs that have different shades, people are like, why did you get the silver, girl, I want something that's just sleek and it'll look the same after many years, I feel like color dies out because of trend, so if I got like a purple one, or a red one, or a blue one, I feel like after a few years, I'm gonna get annoyed that I spent so much money on it, because the color is just bothering me. Like I think I feel like I'm gonna get tired of the color after a while. I like simple things. I'm such a boring girl. Y'all don't even know. Like I'm like boring, sleek, minimal. And I feel like this color will last like a lifetime forever, however long I have this computer. But I'm talking about aesthetic wise. Like after five years, I feel like the color thing is gonna be not even five years. I feel like after three years, the color style for IMAX are gonna come out of trend again. And like I don't wanna have that. Okay, this is actually a four tier shoe rack remember i was telling you guys i wanted a shoe rack and i was looking everywhere in jamaica i got one off of amazon it was i think it was pricey to be honest but i'm gonna put this on in my suitcase and bring it with me it's actually thinner than what i expected and i'm gonna set this up in jamaica it's supposed to be like the rest of, you guys will see it it's really nice well based off the of reviews and once i'm actually packing my suitcase i'll see how it looks the box is actually way bigger than how this shoe stand is it's like right here to here oh my god i bought a shoe stand from walmart we went to Walmart and went shopping. Guys, I bought a shoe stand from Walmart and it was so embarrassing. So I'm gonna go return it. I'm gonna try and return it. I don't know when, but I'm gonna try and return it one of these days. Yeah. And then we have the iMac. But I think I'm gonna do this in a separate vlog, so give me give me some time because we're gonna go do the clothes unboxing, makeup unboxing, things that we bought at local stores here, like Shoppers Drug Mart, Walmart, and all that. Like this vlog is gonna be all unboxings because I'm here to shop and I love shopping. It just makes me feel good. Let me know if I'm the only one who is that. Because I know I'm not. And like for the iMac, it's not even that big. And I'm gonna bring it to Jamaica with me. But you guys will see how I pack it. I'm not gonna bring it in the box, of course. I'm gonna take it out, but yeah. So let's go to clothing unboxing and all that. Okay, she's, well, she's putting on a smart door and she's doing it all by herself right now. So I'm going to show you guys how it looks after uh, she got this on Amazon. So we'll tell you if it's worth it. Zion, how would you rate the installing so far out of 10? For like someone who's not Tiny? knowledgeable Tiny. about Tiny. installing it. Okay. Uh, actually, no. There I think you're is, doing good. There, yeah, but um, the thing is really like unprofessional. The YouTube videos are not it, guys. Oh, the tutorials, the how-to tutorials. Or just not it. You mean it says how to and it just shows you how to fix the door. Like what? How to turn on the door lock. I didn't ask for that. Yeah, so we're going to come back once she's done. Thank you, bye. Guys, I'm back. I had to change my battery. Plus, we're in a different place because we're going to do some unboxing of some clothes I got. Hopefully the background. I'm sitting on the ground. OG YouTuber days. I got another package. Well, two of them. They just came. Mm, bad one. I look so bad guys like I'm trying to I'm trying to post as much as I can for you guys so sometimes I might not look well put together I bought some renters these are ugly why did I think they looked I bought renters to running because I feel like really my cardio I feel like my oxygen is not circulating my body like how it used to I cannot run in these. These are literally walking shoes. I'm sending these back. Yeah, these are getting sent back. This is actually something person I bought to go running in, and these shoes look so bad. These are like walking shoes. They're lightweight, but these are ugly. They look so much better online. I spent like $40 on these shoes. <laughs> these are getting returned still. Okay, I only could get this amount 
for a certain price so that's why i have to get so much and i only needed one like i literally needed one what amazon sold 100 piece and it comes with six various sizes for i think it was like four dollars i was like yeah i don't know what i'm gonna do with all these so i'm just gonna give them to my mom but i have to bring them to jamaica they're supposed to use to hang up something in my kitchen like all my fruits and stuff you guys will see it in a vlog i got this i got my brushes from real techniques of course gotta love that like right now all this looks like it can't fit in my suitcase because they're in these packaging but you literally do not bring your stuff down to jamaica in this packaging like you have to take all of your stuff out of these boxes just a waste of space like all this this is definitely getting taken out of the boxes right so i barely ate well this camera's fast so with the focusing Woo! I don't have to tap the screen for it to focus. Let me tell you guys, I just had cereal this morning and then I'm kind of hungry, but I'm like, okay, I don't really want to eat. Like, my body's not feeling for something to eat. So, like, let me have some Soplagen. Because it fills you. Okay. I, I went to Stitches and... No. I went to Ardeen's. I went shopping at Ardeen's. I went to pick up some footwear because they were having sandals three for ten dollars right and i know what to buy when i go there like when you go there you know quality shoes as you age and you experience and you know so certain slippers i would not bring to jamaica because they would pop up in two seconds and plus they look super thin so i was like okay let me get like the more sturdier ones that can last all of my slippers in jamaica if you've been catching up on my vlogs when i was doing my closet organization and all of those things you guys would know i literally have three pairs of slippers that i've been wearing and I always said, okay, once I go back to Jamaica, Canada, I'm going to buy some slippers. And this is like the slippers I'm going to wear for errands. And of course, I'm going to buy nicer, more higher-end slippers when it comes for me going out. I'm just going to have to go to the mall and you guys will see that in a vlog, okay? So let me show you guys. So this is one arty mag. I think I have like three or four of them. Guys, there's a lot. A second one because I had to put two. So there's two here and like there's so much. So I bought so much accessories. You guys don't even know. These are all coming down with me. I don't have any accessories. And I know they're not real jewelry. I have real je jewelry. Well, maybe you guys don't know. I have real je jewelry. I spent on jewelry because you have to. Especially if you're wearing jewelry as an everyday basis. So there's staples that I spend money on. I don't have them right now. But earrings, stud earrings, I will spend so much money on in the hundreds. Because I wear stud earrings every single day. Okay, so you spend on stuff like that. If you're a chain person and you wear chains every day, you have to spend on jewelry in that aspect because you're wearing it every day. You're showering with it. You're doing everything, sweating, drying it. You're just doing everything in that jewelry, so you will need to buy authentic quality jewelry in those pieces. But for me, I, those are the only two things I'll spend when it comes to jewelry because I'm not really a jewelry person. And then I'll have one good quality watch and that's it. I'm not really a jewelry person. I'm simple. I'm basic. But the reason why I went to Ardeen's and picked up, they were 5 for $10, number one. Because this is just fashion jewelry. Like, when I'm going out, wear these just for the few hours that I'm going out in Jamaica and then come back home, guys. Like, And you have to do that with this type of jewelry because this is not good quality jewelry, right? So I bought so much. As you can see, like, she, so I don't know, but the lady section off every single thing. Yeah. So when I'm packing my suitcase, I'm literally going to go through all this. I'm going to see if I can record myself packing, but literally it's going to take me a long time because I have to sit there and plan out. I'm like, okay. These are some footwear. I got some. I literally picked up footwear for my friends them too because I was like, girl, like, this is so affordable. Look at these. So I like these Birkin type footwear. Wear them around in the yard. What? And then when I'm doing errands, like whenever I'm going to Mandeville, Christiana Spalling, you literally put these on and they look fine. You need simple everyday slippers. Then, here's the next bag. Ah! Guys, I'm doing so much shopping. It's unreal. If you're from Ontario, you know some of these stores. Like, Orpha Store sucks, to be honest. Like, and it's a waste of time and money. I feel like in-person shopping is just pointless now since everything is online and all like the deals and the clothes is online it doesn't make any sense shopping in person anymore like so some of the stuff some i'm not saying all but nothing's really there so oh this is from a different brand okay hold on that's when i went shopping at the 
store where I bought my curtain rods. Yeah. So at Ardeen's, let me show you guys. I bought Wata boots because I live in country and I like wearing them. I used to have, but then like they were giving away all three pairs of them. So I bought new ones and they were only $10. Hello. So I'm going to wear them whenever. I'm going to buy more goats and stuff. Stay updated with me on my vlog. So I bought these simple play ones. When it's raining and it's muddy, your girl, you're going to see this girl wearing her Wata boots. I might ship them down though. I don't really need them now now, but yeah. So, and then at Ardeen's, I actually bought some stuff. It was like three for $15. So I just bought this cute shorts here. This is cute. I think I'm going to wear them wear it here while I'm here. Because I need some clothes. I bought this to wear to bed. I love wearing shorts to bed. They're just comfy. This, comfy. <laughs> I say company. That. And then I have this set here as well. And then I have a robe. It's like a Kim's dupe from Ardeen's and it's really soft. I literally tried it on the store. I'm like, let me see if it's going to itch my skin because you know some of that material will itch your skin. I got more shoes too. But this whole thing bag is full of footwear and there's so much in here guys. I can't show you but I went to Ikea at Ikea. I bought these light bulbs because these were the only light bulbs that you can get for the lamp that I bought from them. And the thing is, the lamp is not even that the best quality. It's like paper, but... Okay, so I just bought two in case one comes out because the light like is going in and out in Jamaica. So I don't know if it's going to blow one of the lights just to be safe. But anyway, so we went to Extra Extra in Scarborough. And I went in there. Honestly, I went in there. I wasn't going to buy anything. I just followed my sister. And then... I saw magnetic shower curtain liners and I was like, hello, I'm buying these. So I got two since I have two bathrooms, full, two full bathrooms too. So you get the magnetic ones because what? You don't want your curtains like flying up on you when you're showering. That's annoying. And then I got some shower curtains. They may look ugly now, but once I put them up, you guys are going to look and in my bathroom. I got a power strip because a lot of people were telling me in my kitchen makeover video that I need one of these to put my microwave on. So, yeah. Got these two, like, free COVID tests. I'm just going to bring them in J Jamaica. I'm going to take them out of the package, but I'm going to bring them to Jamaica in case I, like, I feel like, <gasps> do I have COVID? I can just do it at home instead of spending 20000 And they're free, like, at Walmart. I just tell this man, he didn't only give me one. I'm like, can I have more because I have a family of five? Which family of five do I have? I bought a sheet. I'm going to probably ship this down because I don't need this immediately. Some things I don't need immediately. Like my Wata boots, it's going to be rain season when I go down. Well, it's rain season right now, but because I'm only here, for, I'm, guys, I'm literally here for such a short time. But I don't need it right now, so I can wait for the barrel to come for me to get my little Wata boots. And this sheet set, I don't need it right now because I have sheets and stuff, but I just bought it so I can have more, so I can ship this down too. This is not a necessity currently. And then, while I was at Orpheus Road, I went, what is this? It says Sirens. And I was like, let me see what they have. Honestly, like, I didn't really, like, want to, like, buy their things, but whatever. I needed some clothes here because I came up with nothing. You guys think I was joking? I came up to Canada with zero stuff because I knew I was going to buy everything up here for super cheap. It doesn't make any sense for me to bring clothes. So this, I think I bought this to wear to bed because I wouldn't wear this going out. The quality is not good. And then I bought like regular tops to just wear out plain. And I had to make sure they're at least semi-decent to wear because their stuff is cheap and not really the best quality. So you have to look like really keenly on what you're going to get. I got these for Jamaica because just to go out. Oh, you guys don't want to under, you guys do not want to know how much jeans, like how much jeans I got. I got these to wear out here. Just like, they're just plain and basic tops. I bought this. This is very revealing. Everything was like $5, I think. Honestly, that day I spent like $600. I don't know how I did, but this is where we are now. This was like $2.18 I spent here. At, I think at Ardeen's only spent $180. So it was good. Because in Jamaica, think about it. In Jamaica, you think I'm getting all this stuff for 20 grand? You think I'm getting all this stuff for 10 grand, basically? No. So I go crazy. Whenever I come back from Jamaica, I come up here, I buy everything. It's like I can afford everything now because I realize how expensive Jamaica is. It's weird. I got some shorts to wear here, some bati high dots. Oh, these are some mom high rise. I'm size three now. Your girl used to be a size one for the longest time. But it's looking like I'm turning into a size five soon because the size threes are fitting tight. 
have that in these shorts here. And then another. I only bought these to wear under shirts. I don't wear shirts like this just brawling like that anymore. I wear these under see-through tops or just yeah. So that is that. So I got some jeans too. I'm gonna try these on later, but I got boyfriend a lot of boyfriend jeans and a lot of mom jeans. Very chic. There's two so far. Here's the next bag. I'm like, where is the next bag? <sighs> this is where uh. Oh, for the jeans, I'm only going to bring, like, one pair... No, maybe one or two pairs of jeans to Jamaica, and the rest is going straight in the barrel. Like, I'm not bringing none of these jeans on the plane with me. Because I don't even care for jeans like that. I just bought them because they were... I think they were, like, $10 each. Or, yeah, $10 or $15 each. I was like, yeah, I'm going to buy, like... I think I bought $100 worth. Or $80. No, I bought $80 worth. I'm over-exaggerating. I bought more footwear from Ardine. So here's another Ardine bag. More footwear. Honestly, you can't go wrong with like... And then I went to another part of Siren. And here I have only spent... I only purposely only spent $80. Yeah. Ooh, I got some like very cute slides. So I got like body suits. Two different colors. I'm going to wear them here. Just so I can look a little bit presentable. I got t-shirts. Put in a bodysuit. Some more tops here. This vlog haul is so long. I got some tights to go running once upon a time because I don't have no runners. I'm just gonna have to go in person and buy running shoes because I don't know what that was. <laughs> like slippers. These are like more of like going out type of vibe. A more nicer. I got a belt for like five dollars. It was cute. I don't know if it's supposed to like replicate the yeah. I have so much more slippers in here, so that's that. Okay, here's some more tops. I can wear this here too, actually. Some more crop tops. I don't think I would give up crop tops until my belly is big and bum. I have stretch marks on it. These two. Alright, so we have some more jeans, baby. here all mom jeans all boyfriend jeans went to the beauty supply store a few times so i'm gonna do like a few different hauls for the beauty. i went here the other day and then i got some lashes but these ones are different so these are the i don't i don't know this brand so these are the trs true styles but they're 25 millimeter they look wispy and nice they're not really showing on camera properly but i'm telling you guys these look good i went to go get the v-lux cashmere and rose and i was like you know what let me try something else because my lashes looked weird the other day when i went to sands and it was that same exact one and i didn't want to buy it again and it happened i got this because my niece was saying like well this is new so from i left in november till now the summer they came out with this one here and she had it and she told me to try it so i was like yeah because the red ones and the yellow ones are bad so i'm like this is like and she's like this is even better than those ones so yeah, and then I got the hairspray. I needed hairspray for so long, so I'm going to try this one. Love the packaging. It's pretty. I got a continuous spray bottle. If you try these before, you don't want to go back to regular spray bottles ever again. Two things is like five bills at the beauty supply store now. But it's worth it. Like, it's just addicting. Like, we need these things. So I spent basically 61 to say I spent 61 dollars on the four things that i bought i was just saying like the beauty supply stores make so much money off of us like 64 dollars just for three things like in the beauty supply store the stuff are like very cheap but when everything adds up together it's like oh i spent 200 dollars <laughs> but i never complain because everything that i pick up i always need and they and they work so i went to walmart right and i was shopping for my bathroom so I picked up some towels. These are ten dollars. I was like, in Jamaica, I don't think they sell. Well, they don't sell towels for a thousand dollars each. So I picked up a few of them. Like, here's a bag. Like, Walmart doesn't have their Walmart bags anymore. So we have four of these. These are coming with me on the plane. Another package, but this is for a brand deal. Okay. So I went to Shoppers Drug Mart. And I just picked up a few things. I just got like panty liners and then these. Now, at Shopper Drug Mart, they actually sell these the most affordable, but you have to just go when they're having their sales. And they have their sales frequently throughout the month. So you can get like 
two for six dollars four for twelve that's such a good price and you have stuff that lasts you for a month and i forgot i got so i have more from walmart that i got another bag and then i got a hand towel which is this right here and then i got a rag i actually have another lip rag oh yeah so i got two rags i was about to say i don't know where it dropped two rags and a hand towel and four bath towels i think that's enough for now and then I bought some sprays. I got some hair removal products. That and also I got. I'm gonna try out this brand. I saw it at Walmart and I never tried it out. I tried searching up the brand on YouTube and there's like reviews from 20 years ago and I was like, okay. So no one's reviewing their products like giving them dedicated videos so i tried them out i got some toothpaste i only picked up two this time i think no i picked up three right and then i got some one a day multivitamin of course vitamin gummies oh and then i got method bottles i love this it smells so good and i love the packaging so i always reuse the spray bottles in jamaica i think i didn't know i spent like five dollars on one i think it was like four or five dollars i was like i was really spending that much and then I got this set here. So I heard positive reviews about this. I'll talk more about this in a vlog though. So basically it's just a set for like cleaning your pots and taking off hard stains. And we'll talk about this in a vlog. So I was excited to buy this. I was like, should I ship it or should I just get it now and then bring it down with me? I was like, you know what? You know what? Let me just bring it down with me. Because the amount of time money I'm going to spend on clearing it. Okay. Where's my other beauty supply store bag? <laughs> Guys. So... This is the this is the next bag. It's from the beauty supply store. You guys saw this all in the vlogs, and um, I went to Walmart as well. I had to do some Walmart drugstore last minute shopping because I was going to Sands. I was like, I need to just grab quick makeup. When we went to Sephora, oh, the day I went to go buy stuff on at Sephora, Sephora, I didn't have cash on me, and they said that we only took cards because of the whole system outage with Rogers. Anyways, let me show you guys what I got at the beauty supply store. I literally went in there and I was like, I'm not buying anything. And I ended up spending a hundred and what? Sixty dollars, was it? Oh, at the beauty supply store the first time we went. Two hundred dollars? It was two hundred. Yeah, so let me show you what I got. We got, I got this. I like trying new products. So we saw this and my niece was saying that she saw it on TikTok that a lot of people were using it. I'm like, let me just buy it and try it because I'm used to the other one. And then I bought these. So this is a braid shower cap. So this is like one of the big shower caps and as you guys can see my hair right now like whenever if i ever do like other hairstyles which i am going to start putting in braids and stuff i'm going to need something to shower in and i don't really it's like so annoying to try and wrap my head and stuff so and then i got a silky conditioning sleep cap and this is what the wide band got one of those got a vinyl shower cap i want to buy like a really good good quality reusable shower cap so if you guys have any suggestions let me know i've been searching on amazon canada but i couldn't really find i got these like cashmere rose lashes by Velux. it's empty now and i don't know what happened to my eyelashes that day i went and bought some la girl brushes here's the packaging can't find the brush right now but i'm going to show you soon i think it's in my other bag and this is their contour brush how about that that's empty bought this the at jackie's quench moisture leave-in conditioner it's really good it smells good great quality but i don't think this lasts as long like if you have natural hair and you use it almost every day is going to last you only a week and then i got the mousse of course i wanted to try out different mousse brands and then we got 30 volume we use some of it already i got another one to bring with me to jamaica for like hair and sauce this I should have bought two, to be honest. Honestly, I can buy these in Jamaica. That's why I didn't really sweat buy, like picking up like hair products. They all have it in Jamaica, so I'm like, yeah. Got this one. This one's really good for defining curls, even though it's a wrapping lotion. And then I got a sleek I Help You Smooth finishing brush. So this is when you are sleeking your hair, and I like using it for like my whole entire head. You sleek, slick it, and it just helps together and then i bought this la girl setting spray because i wanted to try it out i swear i didn't even try it out yet i'm just realizing it got an la girl pro concealer got a brown lip liner of course so that was at the first beauty supply store i went to a beauty supply store in ajax and then i bought two anklets and i only wear these anklets because they're not real anklets i only wear it when i'm going out so here you guys go here's the tea as well for those who are wondering you can only wear those when you're going out. Oh, and then at the other one, I just 
bought these like fashion stud earrings. We put them in for the rest of the video. Actually, this is sterling silver. Maybe these might be the real ones. Honestly, I had to grab anklets like last minute because I'm like, where can I go? Where can I go? We went to a beauty supply store. And so the next thing, I went to Shoppers Drug Mart. Let me tell you guys what I bought at Shoppers Drug Mart. I bought these three things and they came up to $60. I will never forget. Let me add the receipt right. Listen, I watch a lot of UK people and they talk about makeup regulation, rev makeup revolution. And this brand is bomb. I thought it was going to be some cheap drugstore brand. Excuse you. It's so pigmented. It's good. And then, of course, I brought my, my favorite Milani No Pore Zone. Let me tell you guys something. Milani is such a high-priced drugstore brand. Like, the amount of money that you spend on Milani, you can just go to Sephora and spend that money. I just feel like for a drugstore brand, why is your prices that high? That's why I go to Sephora for all my makeup now. But certain drugstore products like this primer is amazing. And this prim primer was like $15. So I got that. So those are like really good products. Would recommend. 100%. So Walmart now. I'll tell you guys. I'll show you guys what I bought. Hold on. I went to the beauty supply store again. I forgot. So the other beauty supply store where they were having the tent sale. So here's another... LA Girl tapered brush, makeup brush. And then I went in. I bought this lipstick. It came, it was actually purple and it dried in my hand. After I left the beauty supply store and I looked at the color again, it came out purple. And I was like, oh, I shouldn't have got that. I got white eyeliner for underneath my eyes to open up my eyes. And I got Fit Me Foundation. And then I got a lip gloss, which I'll show you guys soon. I had this at the time. It. It's probably in the Walmart bag. A lip gloss and a brown, a brown one just to give myself a nude lip so at walmart let me show you guys what i got so i got an equals tools brush so i got one of these and then i bought an elf sponge and then i bought a brown pencil i got all this makeup oh i got this at the beauty supply store too this is for sand so i wanted to like beat out my whole entire hair more so i got more I got an elf eye brush from Walmart. Oh my god, the battery's dying again. This battery sucks so bad. Let me go get another battery for you guys. The battery sucks so bad. I got a Milani eyeliner. I got another one. These are all like brands that I wanted to try out. I got a Fit Me Matte and Poreless Prime. I don't know why I bought another primer. I got it. This is from the beauty supply store. It's mixed in. Oh, these are really good. The NYX Professional. Yeah, they're very thin and nice. I got two of those. I tried this one, Mega Length, and it's like the skinny one for un for the lower lashes. I bought that to try it out because there's like a specific one I always buy from the drugstore, but I'm trying to try out other things. Here's another mascara. Here's another makeup brush that I bought from Walmart. I got a hard candy. These are really good. They're beautiful. Battery sucks. I think I'm on my third battery now. Good thing I bought more. So if you're buying this camera, make sure budget for batteries as well. So I bought some small hoop earrings. I wonder why I bought this. Like I'm actually thinking about it now. Like I think when I was going to Sands, I was trying to figure out what type of earrings I should buy. So I bought more than I needed. I bought more makeup brushes. Just from the equate brand. It doesn't matter. And then I bought this for Sands. This is so funny. You guys saw me blowing my bubbles. More makeup brushes. Another of the eyebrow. Another mascara to try out another makeup brush i bought these earrings i actually ended up wearing these earrings to send i got them at honestly the beauty supply store stuff don't care about that here was the lip gloss i was telling you guys that i bought at the beauty supply store to wear that day with the brown got black opal this is from the beauty supply store too sorry my stuff was so mixed up because i couldn't run out got this oh my god it's gonna die again mascara eyeliner and then here is the other lipstick. This was supposed to be like a nudish color to wear. Another makeup brush. And then I got this powder here. Don't get it. It sucks so bad, guys. Like, I had it and it was so white underneath and it did not set my makeup. Like, my makeup was like separating and stuff, so it's not good. Got a black eyeliner. It was from the other beauty supply store. And yeah, and at Walmart, I think I spent like 100 something on makeup at Walmart, to be honest. But I'm going to do a Sephora haul, so once I go to Sephora, either I might buy it online or go into the store. Actually, I'm going to have to go into the store to do a foundation check and stuff. I'm going to do a haul, but that's going to be in a separate video. So that's it for the haul. If I do the tech unboxing today, I'm going to bring you guys along and do it. But that's it for now. I need to charge all these batteries. Like, what is going on? I think I have another battery, actually. So, like, 
Hi right, guys, so I'm gonna start packing my suitcase pack. You need to take out all your stuff out of every single packaging, no matter how much you want your something to look brand new. Even if you're giving it to someone, like just let them know. So you guys wanna take out everything out of the packaging. Cause I don't know what it is. Like they like charging people money if stuff comes in packaging. I don't know what's wrong with these people. Right. Anyway, so you just wanna take everything out. Every little something. You see this? I'm taking it out. These I'm taking it out. Like take everything out of the packaging. I'm gonna throw it in a bag. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do this for a few minutes because I have a lot of stuff I have to go through and take out packaging and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so this is the before of some of them. This is not including the boxes I have full of like Amazon products. So this is the before. Okay, I wanted to show you guys this. So you obviously wouldn't, well, it's not obvious. I wouldn't recommend you packing this box in your suitcase like this number one it takes up your space and number two they're going to think you're trying to sell this in jamaica which is like mind your business and number three is just big and brawling so what i did was i took out them out of here and then i broke down sorry for all the mess because i'm taking out everything i broke it down like this and then you can still bring the box or use it in jamaica if you're someone who cares about the boxes a lot of people don't care they'll just bring it like that and next thing let me show you guys so this big huge box like it's actually huge and then you'll see you'll be like oh my god i'm gonna have to ship it down no you don't so i took it out and like literally this is how it looks like this board literally weighs like a half of a pound or maybe a pound the most and it's so thin and then this like they're all so thin and short they're so much more smaller than what the box it's like packaged in the box so this is definitely going in a suitcase and you guys will see but i'm still breaking down everything i'm throwing out stuff so yeah almost through i have two, two more boxes left it's not important yeah i'm just charging my batteries but i'm looking at it right now and i actually have four batteries i'm gonna link similars down below in case any of you guys would like to buy but honey i don't play with this camera because it dies quickly overfill this carry on that's what i'm trying to do right now packing all my footwear i still have to add all this footwear into the carry on which they're going to be and then i have like spaces because sh sh no slippers i have is a short so i'm putting other things in these spaces i'm gonna put some stuff right here too and i'm gonna put something going over the top going over the top yeah 